Um, it was a time of stress. It was a time of um, uh, uncertainty and, and um, fear. But also, Vienna was also the place where I l learned to love music, culture, art, opera, uh, anything that really informs the, the life of, a, of an intellectual, uh, which I hope I became later. Um, that was all there as well. Um, it was uh, impossible to be integrated into society in Vienna as a Jew. Uh, we led parallel existences. I was uh, in a class of 40 boys at the um, high school. Uh, ten, ten of them were Jews. Uh, to this day, I remember every single one of those ten. And I never knew a single name of the others. They never had us at their homes. We never invited them to ours. We just learned together in the same class. And later, after the Nazis marched in, um, those also were the boys who roughed us up and who beat us up. And, uh, and I had to come home. It, it just, it, you know, when the Nazis came in in, in March of, of 1938, we lived at a major thoroughfare and under, uh, literally under our window. First the hardware came and then uh, and the people welcomed them. They all had swastika armbands, which believe me had not been sewn overnight. Um, and then after the hardware came limousines and in one of them um, the fat man, Goering, and a few limousines behind that, uh, Hitler himself, right under our window. And everybody else had thrown, no, thrown open their windows to uh, welcome them, and we looked from behind curtains, um, not knowing quite what, what would happen, but already afraid. And within days, they dragged people we knew out into the street and subjected them to uh, indignities. And um, when, when the school reopened, the headmaster made a memorable statement. He said, if in the first, I render it exactly, if in the first exuberance of uh, reunification with our German brothers, if in the first joy of that wonderful occasion, excesses should happen, we will not be inclined to prevent them. Oh. And um, that was when I came home bloody.